Hello Peaches! Welcome back to Dear Peachy. If you're a fan of Asian beauty, Xiao Hongshu is a treasure trove for finding viral beauty tricks and trends. You can actually discover a new tip during every scrolling session. While some of the videos are seriously impressive, just like this amazing lip contouring tip that we are going to share in our video today. Recently, the 3D lip contour technique has made it up to one of the hottest searches in the platform. Beauty fans in China were completely blown away by this technique. So if you're wondering why your lips still don't look sculpted in full or after applying your favorite lipstick, you might need to check this video out. If you keep up with makeup trends, you'll notice a few similar patterns in their makeup. Despite the difference in how the eyeshadow, eyebrows, or eyeliner is applied, they all have the perfect full pout. In some cases, the pout is all natural. In other cases, it is the magic of lip contouring. A natural pout and big lips is not a facial feature everyone is naturally blessed with. While several people go through surgical procedures to get a bigger pout, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. Either you're born with smaller lips, or blessed with fuller lips. You can surely benefit from this guide on how to contour your lips. Lip contouring is the act of enhancing the natural shape of your lips and making them look bigger, fuller, and poutier. By using a concealer, lipstick, lip liner, and lip gloss to add depth and dimension to your lips. Before we get to the part on how to apply lip colors, let us look at how we can enhance our lip shape. For beauties with small or thinner lips, start by using a lip liner to create an outline of your lips. Choose shades that are close to your actual lip color. At the lower lip, outline a curved line at the dotted region shown in this picture. You can estimate how big or how thick you want your lips to be. Before filling in these lines, draw a line in shape that looks like a letter M on the top of your cupid's bow to increase the height of your upper lip. It also helps to sculpt a more defined lip shape to it. By doing this, it reduces the hyperpigmentation around our lips, thereby weakening the harsh outline around it. Next, use a brush and blend it outwards a little to make your lips stand out more. Use a tiny bit of concealer and clean up the edges. On the other hand, for beauties with thicker lips, the lip contouring technique will help to give more depth to your beautiful lips. To reduce the volume of your lips, you will need to conceal the outline of your actual lips. You can use foundation or concealer. Spread out the product evenly on the back of your hand and tap some with a cushion puff before applying. Then dab lightly around the lips to soften the actual outline of your lips. Once it is covered, get a lip liner that is close to your natural lip shade. Fill in a new outline for your upper lip. You can draw it lower to make your lips look smaller. Draw a M shape on your cupid's bow to create a defined shape. Connect the lines to the mouth corners. Next, continue to draw the outline for your lower lip before the lip liner sets in. Blend it out to create a natural looking outline. With a concealer brush, Take any concealers and lighter shades to clean up the edges of the lower lips. Then, change to a small fluffy brush. Get some contour powder and deepens the shadows below your lower lip and the ridge of your filter. With these steps, it helps to create a more defined structure to your lips. And they will definitely look different after you have applied your favorite lip products later. In the next part, we have compiled a few tutorials on three different application techniques. If you're a fan for matte lip look, you should never miss this tip. For this, you will need to get yourself lip mattes that are in two different shades. One should be in the shades that are close to your actual lip color. Another one should be in any darker shades that you like. We will begin by using the lip matte with the shade that is closer to your lip color. With the sharper end of the applicator tip, trace an inverted V shape at the inner region, which located at the sides of the tubercle on the upper lip. Extend a short horizontal line at the mouth corners to reduce the appearance of downturned lips. Apply lip matte to the inner region of the lower lip, and add a vertical line at the center of it. Next, fill in according to the outline of your lower lip to make it look rounder and bigger. Lastly, add a tiny bit of product at the lower end of your filter. Blend them out using a lip brush or you can just dab it out using your fingers. These steps will create the base color for your lips, and you can add any color that you like on the second coat. Usually a darker shade is a better option to make your lips look poutier. So we are going to add it at the inner region of the lower lip and the inner region at the sides of the tubercle. To create the natural contour to your lips, use your fingertip to even them out with the remaining product on the brush. Blend at the center of your filter. And there you have it, the simple and quick application guide that shows you how to contour your lips. Coming up for the second application technique, we are going to show you how to apply lip gloss like a pro. Are you still applying your lip gloss like this? If you do, 
You should try this new technique out. Get your favorite lip gloss. Remove the excess product from the lip applicator. Apply a thin, even coat all over your lower lip. Press your lips together to even out the lip gloss all over your upper and lower lip. Dab out the lip products to spread the gloss to the patchy areas. Repeat the same steps. You can see that the color of your lips looks brighter and appears to be more juicy. Next, we are going to highlight the highest point of the lips. Apply another coat at the lower lip's inner region and fill in a vertical line at the center of the lower lip. For the upper lip, fill in an inverted V-shape at the sides of the tubercles. Add a little bit at your filtering too. At this time, you do not need to press your lips together because we do not want to lose that shine from the glass. Remove the excess lip gloss on the lip applicator. Then, use the tip to blend out the edges of the glass areas. You can add more gloss if you want a richer color to it. Lastly, trace a short line from the corners of the mouth for the lifted lips look. Glosses are the perfect choice for your lips if you are going to have an exciting night of partying. You will have everyone's attention, and you might even get used to hearing all the compliments. Coming to the last application technique, we are going to use both lip matte and lip gloss together for this last look. First, we need to repeat the same steps taken in the first application technique. Use the matte lip product as the base color for your lips. Follow the same steps here to give a defined contour to your lips. Once you have applied at the right spots, blend it out using the lip brush. Then, dab a little bit of gloss at the center and inner parts of your lower lip, and a little bit at the center of the upper lip. Smudge out the edges of the glass, so it can be blended into the lip matte to look more natural. Glassy lips are undeniably sexy and trendy. It's absolutely true that lip gloss is no longer just a beauty staple for teenagers. This lip color technique works on people of all ages, whether you're 18 or 80. Alright guys, which method do you like the most? Tell us in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye!